Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, it's a new set release day, and as such, we're revisiting uh, a deck that we've loved big time, which is Skeleton Tribal, but this time it's come into its own. Skeleton Tribal is fantastic in the Outlaws set, and I think that you are in for a treat. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host and 32nd runner-up in the 2024 Mr. Universe contest. It's amazing what you can accomplish by just showing up. Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Down before a live studio audience. Thank you so much. As always, word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub, posted by Tay Malice. Tay Malice, thank you, Tay Malice. You got a, a, I was out looking for decks that people put together that uh, that made use of cards from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, and I ran across Tay Malice having some decks out there. And what are we playing today? We're playing Mono Black Skellies. Mono Black Skellies. So I am really looking forward to this. Number one. I love Skeleton Tribal. I've loved it since uh, the last couple of sets came out, but I've been disappointed because, you know, there's a bunch of skeletons, things come out, but yet there's been a bunch of other cards that really don't have anything to do with skeletons. So it's like a half tribal deck. But with the release of uh, Outlaws, lo and behold, we're ready to go full Skeleton Tribal. Now, uh, as we get into it, there's still a couple of non-skeletons in there, but man, pretty much everything is there for Skeleton Synergy. So that counts, except for poor Gix right there. We'll see about that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards in the deck. We'll talk a little bit about how it should work, and then we're going to go out, and we're going to crush some hopes and dreams. All right, let's get to what we got. What do we got here? We got uh, the slowest skeleton possible. Not only does he come out tapped, and does he have 70 sickness, but he comes out tapped. So that guy's not doing anything on the first turn he's coming out. So you can use him turn two, though. Whatever, man. Whatever. Uh, you could kill weak creatures. You got another 2-2 two, two for one, which is fantastic. But that dude can't block. But he is pretty easy to turn from a graveyard. This guy is a 1-1 one, one for two with death touch. And if you do combat damage to a player, you can cast a non-land permanent from that guy's graveyard with, with whatever mana you got. So, yeah, that could be space awesome. Space awesome. Uh, case of this, this guy puts out a 2 1 skeleton with suspect, which essentially means menace, but he can't block. So, non blocking menacey guy. And if all of your, if you have no suspected skeletons, all right, so he dies, then you could basically go and get whatever you want out of your library and put it into your hand for two, which is great. All right, creature kill. We've got, uh, this is this is the guy that just makes everything work so great. He makes all of your skeletons have haste and plus one plus zero and puts out a two two as well. And if you descended, meaning that some permanent you have, I think is if a permanent card in you put a permanent card into your graveyard from anywhere, something dies. Essentially, you could pay a life and get this thing back in your hands. So you can cast it next turn and put out a whole nother dude and give you guys plus one plus zero and haste. Uh, we got uh, this guy who you put out under disguise. You flip it back over for three, and you got a 6-2 with Menace. And essentially, what feels like haste, just because it happens on the second turn. He's kind of slow, like the Cult Conscript, but still, as long as you play him with his disguise, you're not giving your guy dogs. And those dogs are vicious. Look at that little jerk with his stupid puppy face. Uh, we got uh, Gix. Gix is not a skeleton. He's got nothing to do with skeletons, but he is good with creatures that are doing combat damage to your opponents. In which case, you get to Pay a life and draw a card. And drawing cards works out well for this deck. And lastly, we got Gissa, who is a skeleton's lord, essentially. So they, they'll get Popo and have Menace. And that is fantastic. So between Corpse of the Lost, lording everybody up with haste, and she coming out and lording everybody else and giving a Menace, people can't block your hasty, buffed-up, awesome-looking skeletons there. That guy over on the right there, he looks way too swole. 
because skeletons don't have muscles or skin. But uh, and I guess they're the only thing, the only zombies you'll get out of this deal. Uh, if you commit a crime, you can create two zombies, but only once per turn. But still, two zombie tokens. That's nothing to sneeze at there. And they'll come out with as what uh, three threes because she'll totally lord them up. Look how happy she looks. All right, we got the ability to return creatures and planeswalkers from our, bla our graveyard to our hand. That's a good way of fetching back uh, Gissa or Gix if we got the mana to bring them back. 23 lands otherwise. So what are we doing? We're throwing dudes out. We're going aggro. We're going to try to pump our dudes up, and we're going to wipe out things that are in our way. Hopefully, we're going to be we're going to attack them hard and fast in aggro manner, and they're not going to be able to do anything about it. All right, so before we go out and do our damage, let's do as we do every night. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxrel, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, up and against Rindos. Rindos. Uh, let's see, we got two mana. Bump, 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 bump. Keep. Sure, we can play a lot of guys for one. Play stuff from somebody's graveyard, huh? Let's throw him out here. He's new. He, he goes easy. Let's get him out. And we picked up a lot. Let's see if he's willing to give it up. He is. All right, good for you, baby. One, two. Here's some more skeletons. Next turn, we're going to go ahead and Corpse of the Lost. Do some pumping. Don't make me gix you. Oh, there we go. Three! Corpses of the Lost. Alright, everybody's got the ability to smack down a three butt. And that's what you got. A three bite. Oh, you're just going to take it like a sucker. What does this thing do? If our degrees are put in graveyards, turn, put a popo on it. Okay. I'll get out some gigs. Start drawing some cards. It's going to be a glorious situation. I mean, great if I can get another uh, just kicks. All right, kicks it is. All right, because the skeleton is going to be gone, that means I get to pull corpses and loss back. Yeah. Uh, take action. Take action. Ooh, that is a lot of mana. Take action. All right, I'm coming at you, yo. I got more than enough dudes to spank you down. I see you need to wipe the board. I still am going to be able to spank you. Oh, you're up to six, though. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, no, I think I got it. You're making me do math, and I don't appreciate that. You going to sit there and suck it? Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Ooh, if I would have put out another skeleton, I could have actually used it for the attack. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Don't be killing. Oh, you're just going for that. All right. Whatever. Whatever. All right, down to six. Let's get out another skeleton. Pull it back. We'll be ready to go again. This time with four skeletons. Four skeletons. Ah, ah, ah. We get our Gissa and pump them all up again. He 
You looked at my hand. I don't appreciate that. I can tell you what, you can't do anything about my suspect. That's cool. All right, you're gone because it's already happening right now. Let's just pump. Let's go for the kill. And flash the GG all in. And we win. Skeletons for the victory, baby. Victory. All right, we're playing against Dalton C. Dalton C. I remember you from fifth grade, Dalton C. Was your mom that hairdresser? All right, one, two, keep. Uh, how dare you shoot me in the face? I thought we were going to be friends here. How dare you? You got nothing in your stupid graveyard? You just gonna kill me with lands? Is that the deal? Alright, corpses of the lost. Corpses of the lost. Ah, felt good. Corpses of the lost. We can kill whatever he puts out. As long as it's not an artifact. I'm not even going to try to put something out. Is it a cave? He just shoot me with his pain lands. He's doing pain to me. What a jerk. Corpses of the lost. Here we go. Let's get super pump them. All in. Is that enough? No math. Oh, that was funny. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Suck it. All right, we're playing against Sweet Googly Moogly. That's who we're playing against. Sweet Googly Moogly. Ah, keep it. These little guys mixed with the Corpses of the Lost are fantastic. We'll pay out the super slow dude that comes in play tapped. Like a sucker. Ooh, you're just going to shoot it, huh? Because that's what you want to do. Shock! Two! You're going to shock that guy? You're going to shock that monkey? I mean, I guess Gix is not a skeleton. He could die, and I can bring back the cult. I have to have two of them. Two extra mana for that. All right, suck it. Suck it, G-Fish. All right, two to the face. I'll take that action. Getting our way up to Gissa. She's a lord. All right, I'm going to go ahead with Corpses of Lost. I never remember to actually play these guys ahead of time. I don't count my mana. While I'm sitting at the table, there's time enough to count mana. When the turn is over. I got a death touch. You want to come at me, brah? Got any guys for me to play out of there? Nope. He's exiled to Nothingsville. Alright, let's get big. That's what Menace looks like, baby cakes. Alright, you got six life left. You got white, you might be able to do something about it. She's got ward, you gotta pay two. That's two of your six. I see you still got some stuff on you. And we win! Suck it, googly moogly. Suck it. 
All right, we played against Cosmic Berserker. All right, I'm good. This deck is so cheap, it is wonderful. I mean, nothing costs, I mean, the five is the most expensive thing on here. Most things are just super cheap. I mean, you need to pick up three to make this deck actually happen. Corpse of the Lost just blew me everything up. We got lots of Lords in here. Man, it's good. Oh, I haven't even played with the playmat yet. What does this thing do? Anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright, number two. Let's get some guys out. I hope we pick up a third man on this next turn. This is an incredibly boring set. Oh. All right, I don't see anything I can really activate. Maybe it'll come to me over time. It's just me, Chomper, don't worry about it. There's some sort of like sand waterfall. Oh, there's like a, there you go, it's a whack-a-mole. All right, Skeletal Warren. Get him. I just gonna kill it. All right, whatevs, we're still coming. Don't worry, I'll commit a crime sometime. There he is. What are you doing there, Tiny Dancer? So I don't have the mana to bring him back. Just do that. And send him in. He'll just kill off the construct. The conscript. Nope. Apparently he's cool with just... Paying for my my guys out of my graveyard, apparently. Can we get a third mana? All right, mana number three, let's go. Mana! All right. Uh, you can't block. Let's just go crazy. Right, he's down to five. All right, we, pick, we can't pick up any more. I kind of get the guy the suspect is going to be our best guy. It'll take two of his guys to be able to block it. Another guy I can't block. All right, let's get out Gix. All in. All right, you're taking at least six, man. I don't know what you think you're doing. And we win. In your face, Cosmic Berserker. Victory. All right, we're playing against Isaac. Is Zach. You didn't teach me how to pronounce that in elementary school. Keep. Ah, uh, let's go for that. Tiny Pones, the pickpocket is cool, but they have to have stuff in their graveyard. If I put them out too early, he just doesn't have anything to do and he makes them an easy target. Flooding the board. Kill that guy. Let's put tiny bones out so we can steal them eventually. And all in. And we win. All right. Apparently, we are too much for him. Victory.
I have been against barbecue ribs. Mm, that sounds good. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue ribs. Keep. All right, we got a couple of singleton skeletons. Cut down. I'm not a big fan of cut down. I think that might be. We gotta go for the throats in here too. All right. But yeah, I don't. This thing's usually just being turds in my hand. I can kill that guy, but why would I really care about it, right? Let's put out super slow. Slow mojo. All right, that's somebody that's probably worth killing, but. All right, two, no fairies for you. And two, get out this other dude who cannot block. My skeletons will be most victorious though. All right, if I just go in right now, I could just go ahead and kill Morbid Opportunist out of the deal here. Let's just do that. Death! Go ahead and jump in front with your greedy freebooter. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have a non-skeleton creature dying, though. Ooh, yikes. That is not good. But I'm gonna get a Corpse of Lost. Next turn, I get out Gissa. Alright. Eh, no attacks. You'll just sit there and kill my dudes like suckers. You can do four per turn. He's gotta open up your neck to me. Whoa! What the heck was that? All right, target loses half their life. Oh, I see. This is a combo. Sweet googly. All right, we're playing against Sagaria. Sagiara. Sagiara. Oop. Got your own Cubert. Fake Cubert. All right, aggro skeletons, it's all for you, baby. Ooh, I see a little, get out of the way. There you can touch, there's little critters right here in your face, whack-a-mole. All right, so that's to deal with this play set is critters come out, you can get them. Now I'm on the lookout. This guy's going for slow land, isn't he? All right, we just need uh, no skeletons, huh? That's never gonna happen. I know you just have lands, man. I can't steal anything from your graveyard. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. nasty! Here we go. Get him! Oh, so close! Come on, don't recover. There we go. <laughs> There we go. That's what victory smells like. All right, so here we are with mono black skellies. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think we got another uh, winner on our hands. I think this deck is going to make it into the into the top tier list there. And this will be probably the last time I get to play it. That's one thing I really like Skeleton Tribal prior to uh, the whatever this Western one's called. Uh, I should try to memorize that. It is the day of the release. Um, and yet now they've totally beefed it up. 
They got tons of lords in there and a bunch more skeletons. Yeah, this deck is aggro. It is effective. I got a 75% win rate. That is way too good. So I, so I get the impression, like, here's the deal. I remember I played Transient, uh, Count Me of Transients in a Slizzy Enchantment deck first day for Kamigawa. You know what I didn't play anymore? That deck. Why? Because it was played way too much. Same with, like, I remember playing Dinosaurs on the first day of Ixalan release. You know what I couldn't play after that? Any more of that. And when it gets played too much, I get really sick of it. I don't like playing it, blah, blah, blah. This one, it is so good. I bet you I'll never be able to play it again. Uh, you should play it. It is fantastic. It is a lovely deck. And, oh, my God, I just it's so wonderful when Corpses of the Lost come out. That is just such a treat. When you just you blossom everybody up, you get two of them out, it's even better. Just so incredibly good. All right, so let's get down to it. Who was the MVP? Who was the most valuable player? And I'm going to say it, it was Corpses of the Lost. Uh, just because there are so many other skeletons, giving them all plus one, plus zero, always known as Pozo, uh, and putting out and haste for all the skeletons you control. My big problem is I didn't count my mana beforehand, and so I didn't put out the little tiny dudes, which I could have then hasted up with Corpses of the Lost, as well as pumped them. And they would have been threes. It would have been glorious, and I just kept forgetting to do it. Anyways, Corpse of the Lost, you are my MVP. Congratulations. I loved you before. I love you even more now. All right, let's see. Was this deck competitive? I said it before. 75% out of eight games played. I only lost two. Yeah, this deck was just rolling it in. It was exactly what I love in a great aggro deck. Uh, you know, because we kind of have the haste that comes from Corpses of the Lost. I mean, you cannot say that Colt Construct is a hasty guy. He's like the, uh, the the complete opposite of a hasty guy. Not only does he come into to the battlefield with summoning sickness, he comes in with summoning sickness and is tapped. But yet, if you can just overcome that hurdle by getting him out early, Corpse of the Lost will help out everybody else. And, and even he gets pumped up from a 2-1 to a 3-1. And 3 is that magic number. You got enough 3 guys out there, you are just rolling in it. That's what we saw with uh, the mono green deck a while back ago. If you get a bunch of guys out there with three for power, you're slamming in as a minor swarm, you're going to win the game. And this deck has found that sweet spot. Uh, the only guy that I find kind of weird is Gix. He looks skeleton-y. You can look at him, but he's not a skeleton. He's a Phyrexian Peritor. I, I'm willing to accept him. He worked out great because I needed to draw cards it certainly helped us out. We were doing a lot of attacking and hasty type of attacking. So therefore, we were able to get that card draw engine off of him. He was well worth it. Gissa, I mean, she was five. That was the problem. Um, you know, she was just expensive to put out. Everybody else is so cheap, three or less. Yeah, she was well worth having in here. It's just that only one time did I ever see her actually help out. And because this deck usually wins well before you get to the five mana mark. All right, 75. It is a competitive deck. I guess that's what I was trying to say. It is competitive. Number two, what are, was this deck fun? And the answer is absolutely it was fun because we were attacking early. We're using our creature control to take things out. And we got hasty guys out, which was fantastic. So altogether, it was a fun deck. I thought it was fantastic. So I'm going to give it big pluses for fun. Was it interesting? Absolutely. Why? Because it was a tribal deck. I love tribal decks. I'm willing to give up any, pretty much anything for them. And this was Skeleton Tribal. And we're playing with sets. We're playing with cards from the new set. Speaker at the something or other or whatever. Why? Let me just try to find out that stupid name. Outlaws at Thunder Junction. Yeah, we got the Outlaws cards in here and a bunch of them. And that was really exciting playing with new cards tonight. What was new? It was Forsaken Miner, Tiny Bones, Gissa. Uh, you know, what, what I liked about it is just the fact that, you know, we saw with Corpses of the Lost coming out in the last, what was it, no, two sets ago, that they had big plans for skeletons. And I think it's finally hit fruition where we've got, a, we got the critical mass of skeletons that you need to make Corpses of the Lost so much better. So all together, yeah, this is an interesting deck. 
All right, so let's add this up. The deal was, was it competitive? Absolutely. Absolutely. Was it fun? Totes, my goat. Was it interesting? 100%. All right, so that makes this into an A-plus deck. And as I'm required by federal law to say, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.